podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. BoxingBoys.com we, we don't fight, we don't fight for rings and stuff like that. I don't fear anyone. In this sport, no se viene a jugar y no le tengo miedo a nadie. You don't have to play in this sport. I fear no one in this sport. Does that mean that you will fight Triple G later this year? Como lo dije en la pelea pasada, ahorita mismo me vuelvo a poner los guantes. As I said in the last fight, right now I'll put on the gloves again. Viva México! Canelo wants to unify all the titles. When did you realize, Andy, that you could take his power? Because of the Mexican warrior that I am, I got that Mexican blood in me, so... Talking about the Mexican style, I just proved it. BoxingVoice.com Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning, TBV. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. I am your host, Nesta Gibbs, joined alongside Michael Gross in Indiana, and we will be talking some boxing this morning. Yeah, I got some stuff going on in the background here that I need to attend to. But, uh, man, we're going to talk the heavyweight division, Daniel Dubois, and his new opponent, Fujimoto. Um, we'll talk about the people that his promoter alleged avoided this fight. There were three other names that uh, he tried to get for this position, and he could not. We'll discuss it, and we'll continue to follow the career of the up-and-coming Daniel Dubois. Um, I believe at this point he's probably 12, 13, and 0, but we'll get you those facts in just a bit. Uh, but, yeah, man, good morning, Mike. Let's... Get into it. I speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. I can't say it enough. I speak it, believe it. Receive it. Two, attempt, two attempts, handed bands over. Sicko hit, shot and miss. Two to stand over. Red winner, huh? Look who in the building. Let, let me check my Instagram. I might be at a million. Yo, 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 yo. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody out there in the TBV universe. Back with another one. What a great morning it is. And don't forget, today is Thursday, so that flagship show tonight at 7 o'clock. Don't be late. But no boxing really did this weekend, so we got to put something together. But before all that, we got Daniel Dubois, the British dynamite heavyweight, young and upcoming, saying what not, not him saying. Promoter saying a lot of guys didn't want to fight him. A lot of guys didn't want to duck uh, what ducked him in him. We'll talk about it, we'll break it down, and we'll talk about who those guys were. Good morning to you, Ness. Good morning, good morning, man. So, uh, yeah, Fujimoto, bro. Um, I know absolutely nothing about Fujimoto, but upon some research, you guys are going to be very, very shocked as to what I reveal uh, about Fujimoto. Um... He, he I, I, I don't know. They say he's in the WBA rankings. I don't see him. This fight is for a w, WBC silver. I hear you. I don't see him in the top 15, though, and, and my rankings were updated November 14th for the WBA. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could go to their website and see if there is. Oh, there he goes, number 12. Cayoto Toro. Cayoto Toro. Cayo Toraro. Oh, Cario Toro. Cario. Cayo Taro. Cayo Taro. Cayo Taro Fujimoto. That's who he's fighting, Mike. So check this out, man. Let me walk y'all through this shit, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and 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 um straight up. Oh, let me turn this on. Buenos dias, ladies and gents. Buenos dias. Let me just go ahead and screen share this. We're gonna walk you through it together. So here's his name right here, numero 12. So we'll highlight that, Mike, and we'll do a two-finger Google search. We'll do Google search, and we'll see what Kayara Taromoto pulls up. Um, we're just, okay, here we go, populating now. All right, all right. Uh, we're going to go to that box rack, Japanese boxer. We know that for sure. We'll go to this box rack. We'll click that. All right, and uh, we're going to go ahead and let that load up. 
If you're walking with us on the podcast, bear with us. This is a video podcast as well. We've pulled up the profile of, let's see uh, if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Let's see what my man Jeffrey says. Let's go ahead and give that a little highlight and uh, ask Jeffrey to come out the work. Kyle Taro. Oh, that was pretty loud, Jeffrey. You should balance out your... Kyle Taro. I was definitely pronouncing it wrong. And Kyle Taro sounds a lot easier to pronounce. Uh, he's fighting Daniel Dubai. It'll be in the Copper Box Arena. Um, it will be for a vacant World Boxing Council Silver Heavyweight title. Mike, that's the title that your boy, before he tested positive, he was really your boy and you was proud of his silver belt. And I'm talking none other than Dillian White. So Dubois will have an opportunity to fight for that title that was last held by Dillian White. He'll also be defending his WBO International Heavyweight title. So uh, this bout is still, according to BoxRec, scheduled to change and uh, be approved by the commissions. I I'm assuming they've already proved this, which they shouldn't, though, which I'll prove right now. Uh, look at this. You know, when I first clicked, I normally don't go this deep, Mike. So I'm like, oh, this dude's for absolutely no one. But something made me keep scrolling. And then I got right here. And I'm like, wait. That's a name I can pronounce because I've, I've heard of this guy. Nobu Hiroshida. Nobu Hiroshida. Nobu Hiroshida. Do you guys know who Nobu Hiroshida is? Let's click this. Let's click this resume. No. You don't know? Oh, look at sure. him. Look at Nobu Hiroshida. His claim to fame is knocking out James Kirkland. This dude had like two knockouts when he knocked out James Kirkland. No one thought he could do it. And then his 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 his, his highlight reel is of him being knocked out in Monaco by Gennady Golovkin. So you're telling me How much that weight did he gain? Exactly. You're telling me that a career junior middleweight took Kayara Kayamoto, what is his name? Kayatoro Fujimoto 10 rounds. 10 rounds, bro. A junior middle. That's like Julian Williams moving up right now and going 10 round decision loss with Deontay Wilder. Or fucking Anthony Joshua or whatever heavyweight you want to bring up, bro. It's crazy. The fact that this guy is fighting at heavyweight, that was his first career heavyweight fight. And then he just said, fuck it, I'm going to stay there. And look, he fought him twice. How you fight him twice? He like, he like, man, fuck that. I did too good. You were supposed to be a heavyweight? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I mean, insane, bro. Insane. Frank Warren's matchmaker, I told you, we need that dude. We need to have a talk with that dude and learn how's he get it done, man. How's he get it done? That's the biggest name on this man's resume. I've never heard of any. Oh, my God. And then this one. This one right here is on YouTube. I sent it to you. Did you see this? Bruh, he don't want to fight. I'm, I'm talking about rounds one through three. Dubois puts this dude out. I want to show this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and edit it. Give me some of your thoughts, because I've been editing this video so that we can show it real quick. Honestly, bro, then when you tell me that the guy he's fighting went, went, went uh, a decision with a guy that, that Gennady Golovkin fought in, uh, who else fought him? Uh, uh, somebody else fought him, uh, Kirkland. I'm just like of the mindset, who the fuck is the, the matchmaker? Because it is getting very, very bad when we see... Daniel Dubois facing these African guys that the names that, that, that we can't pronounce. One of them had Bro, a Bro, Richard beard. Lardy is 10 times better than this dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? One of them had a beach beard and, and Richard Lardy. And now we're you fighting a guy who was a career one a, a career middleweight? No, 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 no. He wasn't his 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 best opponent till date was. He went the distance with him though, like yes. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just seems like it's it's not a very, very good or competitive fight. Uh, Daniel Dubois should get this guy out of here in no time. I wonder when Frank Warren is going to put him in there with somebody that can throw back. I thought it was going to be Nathan Gorman for a certain extent of time, but it's, he turned to be a guy who was just swinging without looking. So, yeah, he's going to have to get Daniel Dubois a test and not and not do him like Anthony Yard. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
don't don't give him his title shot before he's been tested against anybody. Bruh, I've never seen something so low in my life on BoxRec in terms of points. I'm still screen sharing BoxRec. Take a look at this. Fujimoto got 10 points. We were talking about Crawford having 1,200. Yo, he got 10 points. And look at the other Japanese heavyweights in his country. They, they .04, .48. <laughs> yo, yo, how you not even a number yet? <laughs> yo, crazy. But at least he's number one in his country, for real. So let's get to the point as to why Dubois allegedly is facing... Where are you from again? Oh, Kayatoro Fujimoto? Yeah. He's from Japan. How many Japanese heavyweights? Have three. Have we heard? There's three. There's three listed on box rec. Um, there's three listed on box rec. What number is he? Man, he number one. I he, he over Zulu Zane back. He number one. Check this shit out right here, oh, though. Oh, Zulu Zane from, from from China. Check this out. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Zal is from China. L look at this, though. He held his own press conference. He said, fuck that. I ain't going to the UK. I'm holding my own, and I'm the, I'm the Japanese version of Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury came with a Batman suit. I'm coming with a panda. Kung Fu panda. He said, he literally said, this is the key to his power, and this is his sparring partner. I mean, this is a joke. Is that his spirit animal also? He's, oh my God, Mike. It's like you are connected to the story. He said, and and I, I'm so, thank you, Boxing Gods, because you. I joking. I know, but you purposely, you make it a, a thing not to like, to, to, to make sure we like, yo, Rocky Balboa in the Hall of Fame? Well, this guy, Fujimoto said, he's coming into the ring with the spirit of Rocky. Yes, he did. I got the press release. Yes, he did say he coming into the spirit. He coming in here with the spirit of Rocky, a mythical character. That's right. The one that's in, in the Hall of Fame. I told you, man. You, you got to leave Sylvester in there because he made people believe. This dude probably, you know how many amounts of rice he was eating to become a heavyweight? It's only three in the fucking country. So you already know. The whole panda thing is just weird to me, but I'm like... We're going to report this shit. But I got footage. This is this is the footage that's going to let you know right now that this dude, ain't he ain't here for this. He's not, like, I don't even know what he's thinking. I mean, I guess Frank paid him enough money, but that's the <laughs> thing. That's what we got to talk about because everyone is in our comment section saying Dubois is fighting this guy because Frank can't afford to pay Dubois' opponents. My nigga, I'm looking at this motherfucking thumbnail. They got the panda at the disc. Bruh, so watch this knockout. The panda at the disc set for the seat, boy. This is, this is, uh, boy, boxing, you got a little boxing. Is that rising? <laughs> I don't know if that's rising promotion, but uh -huh. he got the rooster on him. And, and and then he just looks to the ref like, yo, I don't want to be here. Why is this dude hitting me so hard? And my man Solomon is like, bro, we not here to talk. Boop, bap, sleeps him. I don't know what's going on, bro. Honestly, um, this dude is crazy to take this fight. Dubois may may really hurt him. I mean, he's bro, he a... don't look that big. No, because he's a gimmick of a fighter, bro. He's, he's, he's like 215. You know, I mean, actually, he weighed 230, 230, and he's only six feet, though. He, he, he just got to be careful is all I'm saying. Um, you he know. Six feet. Yeah, six feet, 230, Japanese. Bro, I, I put some sparring footage. I got to call Manny, but Manny Robles. Yo, I got to watch what I say. You know that someone did the identical show that we did yesterday after we finished? What and, you mean? and used all the information, but didn't say that you know we contacted Jamel Heron. But anyway, ah, oh, come on, man. We, but anyway, I gotta call Manny. Happen. I gotta call Manny because guess the other tip I'm gonna give someone so they could do a show about. Uh, it looks like Manny knows this dude firsthand. I don't know if Ruiz was sparring him, but another heavyweight Manny Robles is dealing with was sparring this dude. I put the footage in the in the pre pro. He was getting the brakes beat off him. This dude, bruh, he. It, I mean, look. He should be happy that uh, he's getting this opportunity. 
This is a, probably the biggest name that 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 that, that he'll ever get. You know, um, I mean, yeah, probably so because they. I mean, I I never heard of this. Like, I, I was a, a, a surprise when I've seen his name. Like, what is Frey Warren doing? Like, when are we going to get Daniel Dubois in there with somebody who? Who? I mean, like, you go from Kevin Johnson, you fought in like like your eighth or ninth fight to Fujimoto, like. That's going backwards if I ever seen it in my life. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. Gorman, Definitely going backwards. backwards. Uh, uh, Lardy, you going backwards. Like, come on, man. Like, we got to get day when there was some guys on the top 30, top 40. Like, get, 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 him, uh, get him Kaufman. Get him Ariola. Well, not Ariola, but get him uh, Molina. You know what I'm saying? Get him some, some coming up opponents who are like, at the end of their careers with these other heavyweights. You know what I'm saying? Don't get him Kujimota, like the guy we ain't never fucking heard of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, we're here because Derek Chisora didn't take the offer. Uh, David Price didn't take the offer. And I want to get to uh, Derek Chisora real David real Allen allegedly outpriced himself. If you're Derek Chisora, I, I, I don't blame him because, I mean, what does Dane Dubai actually do for you? You're, 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 your name is being floated around with a possible title shot against Usyk, you know what I'm saying? So who knows what Derek Chisora is going to get in 2020. So why risk that fight with a young, up-and-coming heavyweight that you probably won't get the bang for your buck and you probably won't get any kind of recognition if you beat him because people like, oh, he's too young. He's only 19. You you got him early. So I can't blame Derek Chisora for not fighting Dane Dubois. No, I, I agree with you. Obviously, he's even higher ranked than Dubois, so he would be giving Dubois an opportunity. So it, it would have to be that Dubois' team, um, you know, got him some good money. That's just what it's about. If it, if there's no money, you can't make it happen. When it goes to David Price, I mean, I'm of the mindset that I don't even know why we used to talking about David Price as being an opponent for anybody. Or we, we 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 know what's gonna happen when 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 he get in the ring, he's gonna quit, or he gonna get knocked out, or is he he'll find a guy like like Dave Allen or or uh or uh what's the guy named that bit him on the on the fucking chest where he was getting beat but got disqualified or whatever. So I mean, David Price is not somebody that the name that I in America is gonna really give Daniel Dubai pop for, but it is a better opponent than Koji Koji Mota. And we know David Price can always have that punch. So if Daniel uh, Dubai wants to get into a firefight and he don't land first, it could be some adverse uh, reactions. But I don't really put him in, 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 in the David Price either. Agreed, agreed, man. Uh, what about the Dave Allen? Yeah, now that's the fight that I would have, I would have, you know, what I'm saying appreciated because I, I know Dave Allen has a, a chin and his strongest shit. Uh, I seen him get beat down by uh, what was guy named from, from from France, the uh, Olympian who always fights in just France. Uh, Virgil Hunter's uh, heavyweight, forget his name right now, but he was beating him up, uh, or, or, or or Ortiz beat him up, did a white got him. So he has some good names on on his resume that, that he lost to, and he's a he's a um, needle mover over in the, in the UK. He sells tickets. He uh, people come to watch him fight. People love his his, his personality. And you put somebody with him and Daniel Dubois, I think that's a fight that the British public will, will will get behind. Yeah, the question is, can Frank Warren make it for him? I mean, I'm starting to get that whole Louis Ortiz, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom vibe all over again, uh, where 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 Eddie signed Ortiz but didn't get him any real fights, and that kind of sounds like what he's doing with Joyce, and I mean Frank. Ever since Joyce signed with Frank, you know, what did we get? Brian Jennings, that's decent, but we were sold the thought of he and Dubois. Um, next year, it should be happening because they're running out of options, in my opinion. And I don't know if Frank Warren can actually afford, uh, afford Dave Allen because Eddie Hearns has been in the public telling Dave Allen, if it's not right, you know what I'm saying, and you know what's right, and, and you know what, 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 what I've been paying you, don't take the offer. Don't rush. Well, I meant Joyce, right? He paid for Joyce to be part of the stable with the thoughts of obviously fighting Fury or Dubois. Yeah, but I thought Joyce was uh, fighting for. He said he fight uh, uh, for EBU title. He's gonna fight. Um, who the fuck is gonna fight for the EBU? 
forgot who's gonna fight. I think maybe Edge Bell. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, he fighting for, for for the EBU. Then it was talks about him fighting Big Baby and Daniel Dubois. So I really don't know what's next for Joe Joyce. And I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see what's up for Big Baby. Are they gonna give him a tune-up fight, or are they just gonna bring him straight back into action? Well, we need to first find out is the signing official. Or was it just smoke, you know? Uh, we need to know, like, did that happen? Did it take place? Um, will we be getting that fight? Uh, I don't know, man. Um, what do you think about the chatter that that they're just... People are saying Frank just can't afford uh, big-name fighters for Dubois because he's not a ticket seller. And because he's not a ticket seller, it's high risk, low reward. He's not even doing pay per views yet. I mean, let's look at it. We, when it comes to uh, Tyson Fury, he did secure the Deontay Wilder fight, but of course that fight was done in, in America with a co promotion, and Wilder pretty much blessed Fury with that. Billy Joe Saunders what, what, what was the biggest fight on, on his resume going to, to Canada to fight David Lemieux or Chris Eubank Jr., which wasn't a big fight at, at the time. Then you, then you look at Anthony Yard big fight. Now nah, he had to go to Russia to fight uh, Kovalev for his big fight. So when it comes down to Frank Warren luring people to England for for his fighters, it rarely, rarely happens. You know what I'm saying? It rarely happens. Carl Frampton uh, went back to uh, 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 America to fight Leo Santa Cruz. You know what I'm saying? So if, it, if, if it's not like a domestic big fight, then it's hard for Frank Warren to lure guys over to get him on that uh, on that BT card. I don't know why when you got BT Sports behind you, which seem like they're fully fully invested in boxing. So I, I don't know why it's hard to get get guys over there. You're absolutely right about that. That is something to scratch your head about with the amount of uh, content that they put out. Uh, social media, YouTube, you know, even on uh, BT itself, you would think that they are financially invested in the, in boxing and um, can give the proper funds to secure the right opponent. Uh, I mean, but for Dubois, this is his fifth fight. Should the critics back off? Like, should we care that every opponent isn't uh, ranked above him? If he's fighting five times a year at this stage in his career, all his fights are on TV, too. So it's not like, you know, he's fighting five times a year off air. He's he's getting exposure. Um, isn't this good for his brand? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's good for your brand. But when you have uh, started out by facing the Kevin Johnsons of the world, who uh, we all know uh, is the pretty much the guy that every up and coming you know, heavyweight is going to fight. When you fight the the Nathan Gorman, when you fight uh, the 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 Lardy, then you go back like it seems like you you're going back like ten steps to fight Kujimoto. I understand it's the end of the year, you want to get him out again, but at the same time, I mean, I, I gotta believe uh, there's an opponent out there that's better than Kuja. Uh, him, I can't even say his name, but yeah, what what, what about Leroy, Leroy Thomas? But was, was, was he not available? I mean, he wasn't training. He's been he's been training so. Is he not available for a fight with Daniel Dubai? That's the name that people can recognize. And in, in the UK had two fights with with uh, Dave Allen, who is like somewhat credible. You know what I'm saying? Like Leroy Thomas is a credible uh, opponent for Daniel Dubai at this time. Maybe a little dangerous, but I don't think Leroy uh, has that that pop because I I didn't really see it in, in the Dave Allen fight. Yeah, I mean, again. Len Roy, would we have given them more credit? Common opponent with Dave Allen, um, but biggest win, Dave Allen. Would people still be trying to discredit Dubois? I mean, yeah, I, I think they'll get more credit than 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 Kuji, Kuji Fidemota gonna give them. To be honest with you, I mean, I, I, uh, he's not like they're gonna give him uh, a whole lot of, but it's a good name on your resume when you're coming up. You know what I'm saying? In the rankings, you know what I'm saying? And it might keep you where you're ranked at or in slightly improve it because Leroy Thomas is, I think, the top 30 or top 40 heavyweight, right? Fujimoto is not nowhere near that, is he? I highly doubt Fujimoto is anywhere, bro. Um, honestly speaking. 
just don't know <laughs> uh, where he would be at. Um, I'm just shocked that that Allen wouldn't take this fight. You know, I could see Price not and his team thinking like, all right, this isn't the right fight for us because of, you know. Just lost. The power too, you know, right? Like he's in an uphill battle with that fight. But I don't know. I guess Allen is less skilled than Price, so he would want more money. He knows he's in an uphill battle. Um, the, the true test would have been Chisora. Yeah, that would have been a, a good little test, but I think it was maybe a year too soon. I, I think you want to catch Chisora sometime next year, maybe after he comes off a loss or, or something like that. You give him some kind of incentive to take the fight to, to get him back into that, that world ranking. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, Chisora got too much riding to fight, uh, fight David Dubois. But don't you make more of a statement if, uh, you know, you fight Chisora this year? It's not like Chisora's invincible. He has showed plenty of chinks in his armor uh, up until this point. That he has, but he's an old Wiley veteran with a lot, a lot, a lot of experience. And we can see how that experience plays out if if, if the fight goes 9, 10, 11, 12 rounds, you know what I'm saying? Let's see how Danny Dubois reacts to that kind of fight. But Dubois' chin has been tested. And he's got a solid jab. Like, the fundamentals is what he's got down. Now, obviously, he still lets right hands come over the top. But, uh, you know, I don't know, youth-wise? I mean, damn, he's got to have, what, how many years on Chisora? Yeah, the, the, the years is, is awesome, but the experience is, is what worries me, you know what I'm saying? I think Chisora has just been a, in a lot of battles and a lot of uh, uh, close fights and a lot of wars. So I just think that that with, when facing a guy that young who doesn't have that, that level of experience and you put him in there with somebody like Chisora, you just ask him for uh, trouble or you ask for him to, 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 to rise above and really shock the boxing, we're not shocked, but make a uh, good name or a good display for itself. For sure, for sure. Um, but Dubois is 13 and 0, 12 KOs, and he's 22 years old. That's very young. That's Shakur Stevenson's age. You know, he's a world champion right now. Chisora is ranked number 10 overall in the world on box rec, and he's 35 years old. So not that old yet for Chisora, but, I mean, hella years. What's that, like 15, 13 that he's got on him? Yeah, about 13, 22, 35. Yeah, 13 years. It's a that's lot, a lot of, that's, that's, How many rounds of box does uh, Chisora have? Chisora rounds box... Where? Uh, Let me look at Daniel oh, two hundred and fifty-six rounds boxed. Let's see how many Daniel Dubois got. I bet he ain't even, even passed seventy yet. Tazora just fought. He's too old to fight again that soon. Super chat from D Lo four hundred four boxing. He's saying Tazora too old. I mean Tazora's in camp with AJ. He ain't that old. He he ain't go vacation. He went to go spa AJ and give his assessment in the, of AJ. Yeah, uh, my boy got 39 rounds boxed. He, he ain't ready yet. Damn. He ain't ready yet. For that. That's just one fight. You talk about Dubois. Yep. Yeah, because he knocking motherfuckers out. He knocking out the likes of Lardy. He knocking out, out the likes of uh, Derek Chisora. Yo, this is the only guy Wilder's watching. This is the, right. this what, the second what? time Wilder talked to me about this dude. What what good reason? I mean, he see he see the uh, the, the 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 dynamite that's coming from Daniel Bar and recognizes him as maybe being a possible opponent. I mean, he is coming for that WBC series, so he he is coming down the the, the pipeline. So we'll know sooner or later. I'm, if I'm sure he's gonna make a hard turn here pretty soon, though. Like yeah. a sharp a sharp left turn, Arr! you know, screeching tires and all. Uh, I firmly believe that. And uh, here's why. I'm screen sharing the rankings. And uh, let's look for Daniel Dubois here in the WBO. Bam, number six. 
Uh, number 12 in the IBF, number 15 in the WBC, and where we at in the WBA, he is not ranked. That's why he's going for Fujimoto's ranking of number 12. So, you know, leave it to Frank. He wants his opportunity. He wants They want a mandatory shot, and they're going to get that in the WBO first. And let's be real. Who's Dubois have a better shot with? Someone smaller than a Tyson and a Wilder and even an AJ. Andy is the right size. Can it, If Andy wins December 7th, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll go to WBO. Right? Not only that, that might be a belt that gets vacated. And, and you see, uh, you know, someone like Tyson Fury and Usyk fight for it. Or maybe, uh, uh, you know, Warren pulls Fury out of that because he's already got a contract with Wilder. I don't know that he would because it would be better to go for that vacant belt then come back and fight Wilder for a unification, bigger money. But... Uh, let's say they pull him out of that. Usyk go ahead and fights Parker. You know, winner of that fights Dubois. <laughs> I mean, these di- these dudes are are, are 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 lined up. You know, once upon a time these rankings weren't the greatest, but again, we went through this the other day. WBO, WBF, uh, WBF. Ah, that's what it feels like wrestling. WBO, IBF, WBC, and the WBA rankings are very identical or similar, should I say? excluding Trevor Bryan and Manuel Char. Those are the two, like, never-move fixtures in the WBA. Oh, and you can't forget Frez. Frez, baby. Frez always number 15. No matter who comes in, he stays number 15. You ain't going to take him out that spot. That's his shit. So, you know, um, they're all pretty much the same, though, you know? So, So you got, what's his name? Dominic Brazil calling out Adam Kovnaki. He's number four in the WBA. You know, he's number six in the, in the WBC. He's number three in the IBF. And he's not, oh, he's number five in the WBO. So everybody is coming. The heavyweight division is about to be booming. Uh, Dubois is highly ranked in the WBO, and I believe he's going to get his shot right there, without a doubt, Mike. A lot of people are coming, man. You still got F.A. You still got Phillip. You still got... Danny Dubois. What's, what, what's my guy's name from France that I keep on forgetting? That Tony Yoka. Tony Yoka. Yeah, you still got him. Right? There's a lot of up and coming young heavyweights out there that, that are, 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 are going to sooner or later uh, be in title contention and be somebody's mandatory. So I'm excited ab- uh, about that. But uh, as for Danny uh, Dubois, I just need a little bit something more to get me excited for this fight. Um, I, I'm going to watch it, of course, because I'm. Dan Dubai fan. I always been watching him since he's a, a, a debut. So uh, definitely gonna watch him uh, fight this guy. But I'm not. I'm not gonna hold out breath, uh, uh, thinking it's gonna last more than a minute or two. Uh, D'Lo four four boxing with another super chat saying, "Read the comments, Ness. Which comments? What uh, you know? You like the, like our YouTube comments?" Man, I think he's, you, you you just read the one that he posted. So. I mean, he said someone else said Dubois is the new AJ. Um, I guess that means it's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, if he's half a, as uh, successful as AJ has been thus far, he's going to have a good, good good, career with a lot of money. But does he have, have that personality? Does he have that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. What, 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 Big what Nick is, is a stray hater. Yo, those three Americans is good enough. Hunter already proved that he needs to be, like, watched out at least. You know, but big nigga hater talking about apart from Big Baby, Wilder, and Hunter, uh, the U.S. don't have a big enough or good enough pool of heavyweights. <laughs> what about Adam Cole and Nike? You know what I'm saying? I, I, last time uh, that I checked, he, he was beating the brakes off motherfuckers. Nah, he ain't going to call him American because he's Polish by, nas- you know, by, by blood. Well, 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 fighting well, well, off, fighting out of America don't matter. He born in America, you know what I'm saying? He's Polish-American, so he's an uh, American heavyweight. Andrew Uber Weed, another uh, American heavyweight that, that we have. Uh, Big Baby Miller. We got uh, Charles Martin, who's been looking uh, uh, credible the last couple of fights. A lot of American heavyweights out, out there that's up and coming. The, the Money Rock. I swear, man, a lot of people are talking about this guy, The Money Rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he, he's very skillful. He's very uh, uh, fast with his hands. I really haven't seen him, seen him fight that many times. So 
But next time that, that, that he fights him, definitely going to be on, on the lookout for him and see how good he really is. I definitely got to watch him fight. It's funny you even bring him up because I posted him on the Instagram this morning. Uh, wow. Yeah, I posted him and I asked, you know, uh, 17 and 0, Damani Rock, U.S. American, American heavyweight, who should he fight next? Um you know, his issue was he he took that Rock Nation deal. Uh and, and look, I was out here selling Rock Nation. I thought I thought my 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 musical idol was gonna do justice in boxing. I thought that, you know, the, the brand Jay Z was going to be just as valuable as his lyrics and his music when it transitioned to boxing. So, you know, I thought Darmani made a good um choice way back then obviously we started to see rock nation uh not really being a player in the sport and that's because they were they were they were uh they had a rough time mike you know um it's not like rock nation didn't try it's not like they didn't offer keith thurman you know, like six million dollars. It's not like heard, they didn't. Heard like, they offered uh, everybody Adrian Broner, like forty million, right? They offered everybody a contract. Wilder, Thurman, um, really? Broner, bro. Everybody got offers, man. Uh, nobody signed with with, 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 with Rock Nation. That, that, that's that's hard. Ain't nobody signed, bro. No, you know who we, signed? You know who signed? And then it didn't even work out. And he got Andre. mad, Andre. Yeah. So. So, you know, Al gave his people good advice. And look, that company is all but sunk, man. I mean, Maurice Hooker, thank God he's dealing with Eddie Hearn. Or where would but he be? When it comes to boxing, though, like, I understand that. But like, when it comes to, like, other sports like basketball, like, Rod Nation got some of the top. I hear you. I hear you. And that's, and and that's what Durant. everybody thought, bro. That's what everybody thought, that they were going to be able to transit. I mean, look, for a point, they were doing that. They got endorsement deals for guys like Dusty Harrison, but they signed the wrong talent. They signed the talent that they could sign, but that talent didn't take them over the top. And they never thought about getting a television contract. Mm. You can't just be a dude with a bunch of fighters and know where to put them on. That's true. You know, that's why you always seen Lou DeBella have his Broadway boxing series. And now, you know, he's got the UFC. Like, Lou don't give a fuck. He always going to have an avenue. He always going to have an avenue. It might not be the biggest one. Look, right now, he ain't fucking with Al. So he's back to being a small promoter. But he's talented. And he but finds he talents. He and he finds this. talents. And he gets contracts um, for television, whether it's SNY Network. You know, the zone, the zone, you know, he, he tries to deal with everyone. His fighters will get on top rank and ESPN. They'll get on the zone. They'll get on Showtime and Showbox. You know, he'll work with everyone. Uh, but he's not going to be a dude that's going to get you on TV weekly unless you're cool with UFC Fight Pass. So, you know, Darmani Rock chose the wrong promoter. They chose the wrong promoter. Whenever they get out that contract, I'm pretty sure someone's going to pick them up. And they're going to get behind him. Now, the thing is, right now is his time because he's got that Andy Ruiz body. So you need to capitalize off of the Ruiz um, fame where big boys are in style because not every network wants a sloppy looking dude. Not every, I mean, you know, Ariola was shamed for it. HBO would consistently bring up weight questions. He would consistently have to make funny jokes about tacos and not being able to stay away from them. Um, so America is hard on a sloppy body. You know what I mean? But that's this, the, the boy got the talent for sure. You know, so if he could get it together, like Andy did, right? It took it took Andy this fight. I mean, now we've been seeing pictures. We're going to have to see Andy in the ring. But according to these pictures, Andy looking like he done slimped up. Like, things done change. He was standing next to Michael Hondo or sitting next to Michael Hondo looking A-OK. -okay. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. We're going to go out to the callers. First, a little quick word from our sponsors. You know the number to call in. one 569 5241 Press 1 one time. Voice your opinion right here on the Voice of the People Hotline. Don't forget, you can add Nestor Gibbs on Skype to be part of the conversation. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. 
These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at ElCaminoElectricalServices.com. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Border Wars is coming to Texas. So if you want to participate, the signups are out. Head on over to theboxingvoice.com forward slash Border Wars. Sign up and let's get this thing going. February 29th is going down. The biggest car TBV has ever had. All right, we're going out to these phone lines. We're going to, looks like we got our boomerang on the line in Seattle, Mr. Washington. TBC. I'm the finest. And now they're talking about he believes he can win. Go to my kitchen. Get the sharpest knife. Because the bullshit out. I don't care what you do good. I do every fucking thing great. Mr. TBC, baby. Yo, yo. Good morning, Ness and Mike. <clears throat> How y'all doing? What up? Good morning. What's up? What's up? Um... Let's keep it real. I mean, um, Daniel Dubois, he's not really uh, a, a money grabber. He's not a go-getter when it comes to getting that bag or, you know, getting in people's heads. It's 12-0, and 0, champ. He just Quite started. He's good, though. I mean, but I think Frank Warren likes that. He's more invested in Tyson Fury. Like, I invest in Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury sells. But with you, when you said that Frank Warren might be saving him up for Tyson Fury, that made me think about shit like, damn, he can get a belt if he did beat Daniel Dubois. But I think Daniel Dubois is very, very good. He has power, and his jab is spectacular. I mean, he out-jabbed a boxer who was sweet science, which was his uh, that one opponent that was bald, white, in uh, Britain. You know that his Nathan jab Gorman. was just pushed. Yeah, Nathan Gorman. That was a fucking good fight. Uh, pushes the jab, but you push the jab back. I think Tyson Fury would have a very, very hard time with that. Uh, he's very, very technical sound. His defense is raw. Um, he might get hit up tight side uh, with a hook. But I. without a doubt. Uh, you know, we all know Deontay Watt of the movement, but this dude's so calm. He just, he looked like he would just sit there and just wait and, and time it so perfectly. Um, but I... Cut it. Cut it. Coming up, I need all the Cut it. Cut it. Well, I don't know if we're experiencing internet again, man. I, I, I called my provider. I'm trying to get somebody out here. I don't know. We'll go to CYP on the boomerang. What up? What up, CYP? Good morning. Good morning, y'all. I hope I ain't cutting out. Because you know what I say is gold. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, talk about Dubois. See, the funny thing is that I don't care how many bums a young heavyweight or a young anybody fights. If you look at Chavez Sr.'s record, he fought dudes that had zero points on box rec and no points on box rec 20, 30 times. His country loved it. He became a legend off of it. Let this young man do the same thing everybody else do. Problem is, social media lets the promoters talk and promoters' voices reach further than they reached back in the 80s and the 90s. So people talk about what they're saying. But the truth of the matter is nobody would even see these fights that these dudes are putting on because they're against low-level competition. It's just that now they do because social media is big. But let's be real. Who gives a shit who the man is fighting right now at his age? He's not even important. And the topic, honestly, is kind of trash. He is not important right now. Let the man be important before we talk about making a headline of a show that's trying to be the best show on YouTube. That's that's he, just how I feel gotta about be, that. He, he got to be somewhat important when when the WBC heavyweight champion of the world brings him up without even being for the future. Uh, uh, for the future. You know for the future. He talks about him for the future, not for right okay, now. Okay, but he recognizes right now that that man, young man, could possibly be a threat to him in the future, right or wrong. In the future. Right, you're right. For the future, if you take okay, away the word so future, you don't have a conversation. This show is happening in the present, not the future. If the WBC champion feels like that that guy uh, is a credible enough opponent for him in the future, why not start getting the fans more uh, 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 known about him now? Not just waiting. At the end of the day, 
his fight's still going to be empty, as y'all were talking about. People still ain't going to show up, so it really don't matter. But, but hey, feel free to do whatever show y'all want to do. Keep on lagging behind all the other topics and all the other shows that get more views. Because that's a fact. Right. Sorry it hurt your feelings. All right. What? He said we should be uh, talking about Dubois? Yeah, he said Dubois is not a good topic. And uh, other people are doing better shows than that. So go call it on the show. It is what it is. I ain't got to call it on shit. I pay for this. It's simple. I pay for this to say what I want to say. Y'all just still it out here, man. At the end of the day, end of the day, border wars coming up. Find somebody to shut me up, man. I'm sick of y'all. Y'all too sensitive. Y'all talk all that shit. But as soon as somebody says something to you, y'all get too sensitive. Who's Calm sensitive? Down. I'm just making a point for Daniel Dubai, and you don't like Daniel Dubai, so my yeah, point is not no. good enough for you. I agree with your point for the future. We both agree. Well, what's the problem with agreeing? Exactly. We all agree. We all agree. He ain't ready right now. He ain't ready right Please, now. I, I agree with y'all. Not right now. For the future. Why, why is that a problem? So, so CYP, yeah, CYP, problem? what topic is better right now? What we should be talking about right now? Just, oh, man, there's a, man. There are there are lots of topics that is buzzing buzzing right now. We talking about Charlo. Well, get, give me one. Give me Charlo. one so I could come. We, you know we do like three shows a day sometimes. Charlo, Charlo versus Harrison about to have a press conference today. They, that's, that's what we need to be talking about. Them two. Because them two talk major shit. It's going to go down. We need to talk about that. Yeah, but don't we got to let the press conference happen to get the quotes? No. Don't you got to let Daniel Dubois fight somebody for him for him to be a topic? Come on, man. No, you this, talk about this is an announcement show, right? Like, oh, we announcing oh, his fight. We haven't oh, talked oh, about his... We already announced oh. Charlo Harrison. We never okay. talked about Dubois' first fight. I, I didn't know. I'm, my fault. I didn't know this was an announcement show at 6 a.m. I thought the announcement shows were different. That's my fault. If 6 a.m. is an announcement show, I, my, I apologize. Well, I didn't know that. Didn't know that. All right. All right. Well, uh, I mean, listen, we try to get to everybody possible, man. And uh, sometimes that's not possible. But Dubois is a heavyweight, man. I mean, this would be like, if not covering Dubois next fight is like not covering FA's next fight. Like, they're all up-and-coming heavyweights that are heavily touted by, uh, you know, both both sides of the pond. So, um, I don't know. I think it's worth it. And the as far as the Harrison stuff, um, yeah, usually, you know, you wait till the press conference happens and see what they say. And it's like, oh, shit, Jamel said X, Y, Z, or Harrison said, you know, because beforehand, it'll be an announcement show like, okay, Tony Harrison and Jamal, uh, Jamel Charlo are having their rematch on December. What is it? Is is, is, is it two weeks before the other Charlo, right, Mike? Uh, yeah, the other Charlo is on the 7th. He is on, on the 21st. Oh, so it's after. Yeah, two weeks after uh, uh, Jamal. Yeah, man. Um, and remember, we, we I did that interview with Harrison, you know. And with Jamal. Jamal was actually the one that told me that his brother was fighting two weeks after him. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, I don't know. Who we got on the docket next, man? Who is up next? Let's see. We got, it looks like, our good friend in the UK. Hey. Coyote. Hey, hey, hey. Take a moment if you know the words. Come on. Hello? Is it not KO? UK Brethren. Coyote? KOD? Go it's in once? Him. Go in twice? Okay. Uh, I think this is Majid, right? I could be wrong. Florida? Or is, is Blog Talk not working? Anybody say Blog Talk not working? Uh, not yet. Because I see, I see Dom. We just went to Dominic over there, so I don't know. All right. All right. We'll go back out to Skype. We got Steve. Talk to us. What up, Steve? Yeah, hello guys. How you guys doing? Hi, what up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you guys. 
Yeah, you know, I, I kind of agree with CYP. You know, this guy, he's a prospect. I like Dubois. I've seen a few of his fights. Uh, you know, I don't have a problem with you guys doing the show and all that. But as far as his competition, uh, I, I don't think it's a big deal. He's just, you know, he's he's just coming up. But uh, I got a little critique for Mike. You know, Mike, you're ripping on Dubois for this fight, who's a prospect. But you don't keep that same energy when your boy's fighting Mean Machine. Oh wow! Here we go again. Here we go again. What what energy am I am I not keeping? Was I was I not the same guy that got on this radio, on this internet radio, and told you guys that Mean Machine got a motherfucking draw with Ray Robinson and should not be the mandatory? Did I, did I, did I not say that? Yes. Many times? Yeah, yeah. I mean, not enough. Over. Not enough, but you have said it. Like, the thing is that you've said it enough for a sane person, but, like, because you go so hard for Crawford, people wanted to see you say it a little more, just as much as you go as hard for Crawford. You know what I mean? And was I not the one that got the sound bites of Brian McIntyre that's told that mother, Kakistan, yeah. Makistan. Yeah, but I'm how long ago on, was on, that? On his ass. But how long ago was that, though? That's what I'm saying. People we want ain't you done no Terrence Crawford show. You've been on the road. I've been on the road. We, they we, want we, you to keep the same. Man. Whenever his name brought up, you be like, oh, yeah, man, he fine. Fuck that dude, me, machine. That's all they want from you. I'm just saying, bro. Me, if I, I, say like you, me, I like you, Mike. Me, Don't machine is not a credible opponent. He should not be the mandatory. He should not be, be the, 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 the number one guy. He should not be fighting Terrence Crawford. He, he will get his ass demolished on December 14th, period. Yeah, but I don't know how you're keeping him number one pound for pound, but I you told you, I told you, to this to me, Steve, this to me, Steve. When it comes to talent and what I see in the ring, there is nobody better at calculating and breaking down down than Terrence Crawford. If it, if everything was even at any weight, I think he might be the best fighter. And the reason that I say might because at heavyweight, Deontay Wilder power is un unmatched by anybody. So that's going to be kind of tricky. But other than that, best resume, no doubt, Canelo. Canelo has the best resume in boxing, number one. Powerful, number one resume in boxing, period. All right. All right, man. Hey, have a good day. Like I said, don't don't take it personal. I just, I'm just noticing you, you got to keep it equal with everybody. You know, you're out here running the show, so. Let's it's never it, personal, let's, Steve. It's always yeah. entertainment, bro. Definitely, All man. Right. Definitely. More people need to understand that, man. You know, this is this is just a talk show. We going to debate. We go on debate. I see. I, I. I. Look. Cyp says something, um, and it's something that needs to be spoken about because it's like we can't cover every single topic, uh, but we do want help. I mean, Cyp, you also a patron, man. You could always drop a topic in the community page. Uh, Dominic in Seattle does that. Brandon and Maurice uh, in Cincinnati does that. Fucking Galito in the UK do that. You know, uh, it's not easy to come up with something that everyone is going to want or like every single time. So you part of the community, champ. Drop that shit in the Patreon community page, and we definitely take that into consideration. Um, we we do it all the time for Untitled shows. That's how that's the actually the purpose of Untitled. But uh, let me go out to Texas. You got something, Mike? Yeah, I'm gonna ask me, am I drinking eggs? <laughs> Who said that? Somebody in the chat. Hey, man, you in training, man. You want that fog rematch. JD, motherfucker. Yeah, There's a lot of things I like to do, so uh, just trying to get on my, get on my game. Man, man, I don't know why they going to call me, but I'm a 54-pounder, but uh, I have a brother that's at 160. Let's see if JD knows how to work blog talk. JD? You there? Nah, he's not. It's definitely a blog talk issue. Got to be. Well, all right. Um, we got a bunch of callers on Skype. We'll go out to Majid in Florida. Talk to us. Hey, what up, what up, man? What up? Hey, I'm on this train where I feel like Dubois is something coming up, and I'm excited to even hear about him. Whoever he fighting, they don't got too many fights, so I, I want to see this dude develop because I feel like by the time he get to that heavyweight division, he going to be hitting some people hard and showing us different, you know? So I feel like everybody should ease up 
and just go for the ride because I remember Joyce called him out and then nothing ain't mm -hmm. come out of it. Her stories about him putting AJ down in training and everything while they're giving him shout outs. This dude going to be signed. So if people ain't believing now. Just sit back and watch. But that's all I got. Everybody like the video? And I'm out. Thank you, Majid, for calling in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. uh, we got on the docket next. Thanks, thanks. Uh, we got... So we're going to go to KO here on Skype because we didn't get to him on Blog Talk, right? It didn't work, right? Didn't work. Didn't work. KO, talk to us. Can you guys hear me now? What up, KO? We Do hear you, you appreciate this Daniel Dubois topic? Yeah, it's cool, man. Listen, um, do you guys know Martin Bacoli, yeah? Yeah, Martin yeah. Bacoli is uh, Macaboo's brother. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, I want to see him... I want to see him fight Dubois. Apparently, from what I've heard, they both sparred and Bakoli gave him the work. And really? actually, yeah, and Eddie Hearn has actually offered Bakoli to Dubois. And he said he's willing to take whatever amount they want to pay him. So I actually want to see that fight. Also, they have common opponents. And remember, um, Bakoli knocked, oh. knocked out Kevin Johnson while Daniel Dubois went the distance with Kevin Johnson. So. I think that would be a good fight. Um, I think Bacoli as well is someone that you shouldn't sleep on. I think he would be a threat in the heavyweight division as well. Um, so, yeah. That's, I mean, that's didn't Bacoli lose the Hunter? Yeah, knocked out. What, wasn't stopped. Big Nick from the UK just trying to play Hunter out? Yeah, he got stopped. <laughs> but now you got uh, Coyote from the UK bigging up Macabu? Who was his name? Martin Bacoli. Bacoli, who, who Hunter beat <laughs> on short notice. Right? Am I yeah, correct? But, Very short notice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he lost. Yeah, he lost one fight, but that's not that's not his. That's not the end of his story. No, I know Come it's on, not. Man. I know it's not. But it, it, it's sad when you know you got some UK fans trying to down a, an American cruiserweight, turn heavyweight, moving well, up, taking a short why, fight I notice. I haven't met you yet. Huh? No, no, no. Listen. Listen, I, I think my, Michael Hunter is actually another underdog in the heavyweight division. I think he would give a lot of heavyweights problems, including AJ. Mike, Fury, you ain't on mute, Chad. Uh, Mike, Mike, you're not on mute. I know I'm on mute. I know I'm on mute. No. But, but we can hear your conversation. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Yo, he over here. Go ahead, Coyote. Coyote. No, I was saying, I think... I think I think Michael Hunter actually gives a lot of heavyweights problems, including the top ones, AJ Fury. Yeah, man, and look, he's got me looking out. for sure. Out. I wasn't I wasn't paying notice uh, until you know he looked so good um, versus uh, Usyk, and and then obviously you know I found out that Bacoli and uh, my man, what, how you pronounce the cruiserweight's name? Uh, Okoli. No, 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 no. Uh, Bacoli is the one we talking about, the heavyweight, right? Yeah, and Okoli is the cruiserweight. No, I'm not talking about Okoli. I'm talking about how do you pronounce the other cruiserweight's name that is his brother that I met in Mexico. I always mess up his name calling him Iguana. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, Agana. Macabu? E yeah, Agana Macabu. It's like double L. Okay. Yo, we going out to TJ Sims. Talk to us. What up, TJ? Got to unmute, champ. Once. Right now. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, yeah. You there? You on mute now. Nah, he ain't mute himself. Something up, though. TJ. Yeah, Once, on. twice, we'll be back to you. Brandon in Cincinnati, talk to us. What up, B? Uh, yeah, what's going on, Mike Ness? Yeah, this, this, this is uh, pretty much a joke fight. This shit ain't even like exhibition fight worthy. I mean, it was I I laughed I laughed when you said he fought the dude that knocked out Kirkland at 154. Then the motherfucker had on the Joker suit, sitting next to a panda. 
I mean, expect some, you know, YouTube, you know, gag type of knockout just to get some laughs. You know, don't I don't take this fight too seriously. I expect like a 30 second knockout. This dude ain't coming to fight. It's, it's going to be a fucking blooper reel. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they can, you know, figure out a way to get this young man a, a better fight in the near future because the trajectory he's on ain't looking too good. But, you know, he's still young. You know, Wilder and other heavyweights was fighting guys like this 20, 30 fights in. So we can't really, you know, rush the guy the too issue, much. The issue with that, Brandon, uh, is that the, the landscape is totally different now, right? So what happens with a guy like Dubois for fighting this level of opposition is that he's going to be thrusted into a mandatory position very soon. We just showed you the landscape. I'll screen share it again. And uh, the issue with that is that he'll get a, a, a world title shot versus, you know... A